So something happened over the weekend that I find is a vital part of the idol experience. It shouldn't come to us as a surprise that eventually every idol will graduate. But the problem is that not every idol gets the send-off that we hope for them or we think they deserve. But such is not always the case. Many times idols will just abruptly leave and it leaves their fans without a sense of closure. It's almost like a bad breakup that you can never get over. So I was really happy to see Dorothy Little Happy get a one night reunion over the weekend. So to give you a little backstory, Dorothy Little Happy or DLH was an immensely popular idol group that started in 2010. They rose up the ranks and in late 2012, they even had a collaboration with Biss. But then suddenly the group split. In 2015, three of the members left to form their own group, Call Me. From what I understand, at their last concert, it got uncomfortable as members aired out their grievances on stage. And that uneasiness continued as those two groups continued. Two of them in DLH and the other three in Call Me. There was always this rivalry kind of looming overhead. But just at the end of last month, Kana graduated from DLH, leaving only one member remaining. It's kind of sad to think about sputtering out to the very end. And with only one member, there's really no way to continue. But amazingly, this weekend, for some reason, all the members joined up again on stage at the At Jam Expo 2017. It was presumably the last DLH show we'll ever see. And for an hour and six minutes, everything in the world made sense. And of course, for their last song, they played Demo Sayonara, which is one of their signature songs. The lyrics literally go, I love you, I love you, but this is goodbye. So what a way to close everything out. I was told by someone who was there in attendance that their fans were all crying and she compared it to a religious experience. So if you guys get a chance, I definitely recommend you checking out the video from the event. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's a reminder that we might not always get a happy ending and get what we want, but when it happens, it's goddamn beautiful. So we should be appreciative. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.